and you change the world. The moral of the story is everybody's got a purpose. And when you hear that devil, that devil starts singing, who do you think you are? Say, I'm just a nobody. Try to tell everybody all about somebody that can save your soul. But well, ever since God rescued me, And I'm living for the whole wide world to see nobody but Jesus, amen. For the world to see nobody but Jesus. Down, down, down in history. As an, another faithful member of a family of Christ Jesus, amen. But hey, well, that's fine with me. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. So let me go down, down, down in history. With an, as a faithful member of a family, amen, praise God. Don't forget my name, well, that's fine with me. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. All about somebody that can save your soul. And ever since he rescued me, he gave my heart a song to sing. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. We give glory, honor, thanks, and praise to the Lord our God each day that is unpromised, but our brothers and sisters. Each day is unpromised. I always praise God, give glory, give thanks, no matter what situation we're in. Amen. I praise God because ever since He saved me, He really did. He gives us a new song to sing, and it's called Freedom in Jesus. Amen. But our brothers and sisters, all people, I've been reading Ezekiel. I have another Facebook account too, where it says, it, it says, Servant of God, Leroy Ortiz. Same thing, because I, I honestly serve God with my life. But at times like this, y'all see me in this big old heavy equipment right here operating, because God is faithful and true to sit here and make a way where there is no way. Nobody support, God supports me, God is my helper, amen? Everybody in this whole wide world, they support their church building. But remember, that building is not where you're gonna find your salvation at. It's at the foot of that cross with Christ Jesus, amen? But now, brothers and sisters, it is so sad to know, to know, I don't know if this is on or not, but let me put it on in case it is. It is so sad to know that, you know what? A lot of people are gonna miss heaven for walking in the ways of this world. Deception has been sent out, children, please, if you ever hear three here, please hear what, this, what I'm saying to you guys. Because people, even Christians, y'all are, everybody that's worshiping on Sunday and leaving out God's sanctified Holy Sabbath day, which is Saturday, today, per the Bible and God, is the first day of the week, not the seventh. In Ezekiel, 20, I've been reading Ezekiel because I know my I know my my calling, and I, I'm the one that has to go through all these little states and cities and towns and whatever. And on the side of the van that the Lord blessed me with to ride with, it has God is calling all nations, tribes, and tongues—not tribes and tongues, but all nations—to repent, 
Jesus is coming soon. You cannot make it to heaven living in sin. Amen? No if and but about it. All you people that are so much about grace and you are trampling the Son of God underfoot as it says in Hebrews 10, 21, I'm 26 through 29. Please read that. Please read that, children. Amen? For all of you that are sitting here and are trampling the Son of God underfoot by, think, by disrespecting the Spirit of grace, children, you have sinned. Amen? And there is no sacrifice for your sin, it says in Hebrews 20, Hebrews 10, 26 to 29. If you willfully sin after knowing the truth, there is no sacrifice for your sin. In Ezekiel 20, it tells you that he gave his holy Sabbath day, which is per God on Saturdays, not Sunday. Y'all following the ways of the world when you're doing the Sunday worship. That is fine. God is worthy to be praised and worshiped each and every day, every second of your life. Amen. Every breath should be given unto glorifying God through every trial, tribulation, and circumstance that you are going through or that you're in, whether it's in goodness or in bad. Beloved brothers and sisters, amen. I serve God. I'm a church. We are all temples of God. It tells you in scripture. Amen. And everybody that is defiling the body of Christ, he will go, you're going to get served off. You're going to sit here burnt in the fire. You're going to sit here and sin for being disobedient. Hellfire awaits all sin, filthiness, and disobedience. In Ezekiel, children, it tells you that God left his holy Sabbath day pleasing if you haven't here to hear. Hear what I'm telling you, people. Y'all don't study the scriptures. Y'all just go to this church house and expect what that man is sitting there sugarcoating that gospel to make you sit here and tickle your ears and make you feel like you are doing right. But they're causing you to err. God sanctified his holy Sabbath day, which is Saturday. Saturdays are God's holy Sabbath day, beloved brothers and sisters. Sunday is not. God's Holy Sabbath Day. Sun Saturday is God's Holy Sabbath Day. In Ezekiel, he tells you in Scripture not to go in the ways of your father, following the idols, and worshiping, not worshiping on a man-made, on a man-made Sabbath day. When y'all following the Constantine changed that in 18-something BC, come on. Because you people are not reading this, I'm telling you, I, I'm so sorry. I pray for you guys because you know what? God profane God's holy sanctified Sabbath day. But I will sit here and follow a man-made Sabbath day. It ain't even holy. But y'all respect that. But you won't respect God's. Yes, God is worthy to be praised each and every day, every second, all day long, through no matter what circumstance that you're in. Why? Because He is worthy. He died for us. Christ Jesus died for us to be saved. Because of our stubbornness, because of the world, I can't say the world, mankind, ignorance. We don't want to sit down and read all the Word of God. <coughs> For what? You say what? <coughs> That's what the church wants. <coughs> well, you're right. <coughs> that is what the church wants. But a lot of these churches are causing you to ever, children. And because you want to follow that wide road, gonna follow them straight to hell children, brothers and sisters. I'm trying to tell you something. Read some Ezekiel, 
Ezekiel 20, it tells you about the Sabbath day. Amen? It tells you about how you continuously defile God's holy Sabbath day by following this man-made Sabbath day. It talks about following your idols and your abominations of our forefathers, amen. <laughs> it tells us in scripture that he gave us, his people, remember, don't be deceived. We are all God's creation. But when we choose to serve disobedience to God's word, we are thus for now being children of Satan, sons of disobedience, amen. He tells us in scripture in Ezekiel 20, children, beloved brothers and sisters, that he, our Father God of spirits, thank you Jesus, left his holy Sabbath day as a sign for his people. Are you his people? And remember, to me, you ain't gotta worry about me because I'm just flesh, just like I'm just a people, like, just like you, except I serve God with my life. I read scripture totally each and every day. I do have a ministry, I am ordained, I do have, I'm just, the building is not the church. Us, we, the people, are the church that is built on the rock, which is on Christ Jesus. Why? Because we walk in with the king. Amen. We walk with the king. It tells you, my brothers and sisters, in scripture, and this is biblical, not worldly, it's biblical. You know, Satan's going to do whatever that he can, people, to sit here and make you go to hell. He's going to try to take each and every one of you to hell. And when you sit here and view disobedience to God, you are now in danger of judgment and hellfire, amen. No if and buts about it. Ain't no two none, ain't no two ways. Ain't a double-minded. God is righteous and just. And no matter how rich or how poor you are, no matter how much you have or how much you don't have, we will all be standing before the same God, judged by the same book, according to his laws, his judgments, and his statutes. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Praise God. But our brothers and sisters, we are walking in a darkened time of very much ignorance and deception that's going on everywhere running rampant. You got all these preachers everywhere. You got all this delusion going on. Turn on. Y'all gotta turn on. Amen. And I pray for y'all. And you know what? Know this day. Like me, I serve God. And I'm traveling from state to state from city to city, and I have to sit here, and I, yeah, y'all gonna see me hopefully in y'all city. If God sends me that privilege, just me the opportunity, and your child to stand there, and I go in, and I'm standing, if anybody's seen my profile, y'all see what I do. I go into these cities, into the northways, at every busy intersection with these big old cardboard signs, messages from God, that say, all inhabitants of the world will be punished for their iniquity. You can't make it to heaven living in sin. Your iniquity will testify against you during the day. Um, at different, different ones, on the side of the van, it has, God has called all nations to repent Jesus is coming soon, my master, thank you, Jesus. And you can't make it to heaven if you're living in sin. On the other side, it says, 
Jesus loves you with the big old red heart because it is love. He will say, you show our lack in love. No, actually, the world and these preachers, apostles, prophets, evangelists, all that mess, all that mess, say, your kind of love on this world is carnally. You lean on your emotions and your feelings. That's your love. God's love is in truth, in correction, and salvation. Amen. Praise God. Did y'all get that? That's my spot. And it's not to be mean. You people need to realize this and wake up out your sleep and slumber, children, because you only get one opportunity to stand before God, the Father of spirits. God, the Father of all creations. Amen. You're not going to get a second chance. Be thankful that God has sent somebody to sit here and put it, really tell you that God loves you enough to have sent you a messenger to tell you that no sin will go unpunished and no unclean thing will enter the kingdom of God. If you are trampling the Son of God underfoot, tempering the blood of the Lamb by continuing in the ways of this world, children, know that you are in error. Amen? Know that you are in error. Jesus Christ did not die, beloved brothers and sisters, so you could continue living in your sin. Jesus Christ did not get crucified to see have you fornicating, dusting, weak in the spirit and strong in the flesh and the desires of it. You people are relying too much on your feelings because you're worried about what the next man thinks when you should be worried about what God the Father of Spirit is thinking about you and how you are acting in this world. How much dysfunction you got going on, smoking, drinking, fornicating, lusting, cussing. And y'all go to this church house and profess the faith, and you think God is not going to punish you for making a mockery of his court? And he tells you every time that you guys are going into these church buildings and making a mockery of salvation of what he has done for you people, I promise you, you're going to remember the servant of God. If you think you're saved by grace and returning to lick up that sin like a dog returns to his vomit, like it says in a proverb, returning to your sin, woe to you. If you are like this pig that's back stroking in that mud pile of sin and think you're going to make it to the heaven, <laughs> you've been deceived. You've been deceived, children. You've been deceived. Don't let the devil lie to you. But furthermore, don't let these people that's in these church building people lead you to hell with bells on. Y'all just up there in the church house is just out there. I am. Because I've been set free. The freedom and surrender. Good luck, brothers and sisters. Know this. If you are not celebrating God's holy Sabbath day on Saturday, you are in error. And you need to repent. You need to go read Ezekiel. Ezekiel 20, where he left his Sabbath day to be sanctified as a sign for his people. If you want to be his people, then you know what? You best get to worshiping God on Saturday on his best day. And not only on Sunday on this man-made day. Because you won't miss the mark. And 
I'm going to tell you how good God is. He says you cast your cares and your worries into him. And when you're obedient to him, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'm a traveling missionary. I do with what, what the Lord tells me. Complete.